Hey, all right, guys, it's Mr. Vince, and today I'll show you guys how you can get 6,000 cash from the power plant in the new Volt Bike. Now, this is kind of hard to do if you don't know what you're doing. Now, before I continue on today's video, if you guys enjoy, just leave a like, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to actually never miss a video that you might find important. So, in today's video, I'll show you guys how to get 6,000 cash in the new volt bike from the power plant. This is simply easy, but pretty precise in most situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, requirements and the settings to uh, modify, so that way you can increase your FPS and just like uh, sell some easier stuff, etc. So uh, in the settings, it's encouraged that you turn on robbery markers. As of the July update, the uh, robbery markers work properly now. So when you join a server and the robbery is open, then it will no longer show the color of red, it will now show the color of green. So, glad I fixed that. It was a pretty easy fix, but it was kind of interesting. Now, another thing, I highly encourage you to slightly decrease your quality to the best quality to get increase in FPS. And uh, I highly encourage you to play on a game or a device that doesn't have that much, you know, lag. Now, this is because the Volt Bike has suspension now, so uh, instead of relying on speed, you have to rely on suspension. This is because Volt Bikes don't go slower even if your quality is like high enough. However, your FPS will make your Volt Bike bouncy, so you gotta be a little cautious for that. Now, another thing you can get is a jetpack. Now, you don't need a jetpack, but it is optional. I'm not gonna get one for this video because it's optional for those who are not good at the obby in the power plant. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to rob this without rocket fuel, so if you use rocket fuel, you get extra money. We're going to park our Volt Bike by this door. Now, the reason why is because we need to instantly get in the Volt Bike after the power plant. And uh, keep that in mind, it will take extra tries, but once you get it, you should be able to easily get in the Volt Bike. This is easier on Xbox and PC because uh, you can easily press a key bind and you can easily get in the Volt Bike for that. On mobile though, you have to be very precise, but it should be pretty easy for you once you're experienced. So yeah, now another thing I like to take consideration of in this update is that you no longer get kicked out of the power plant even if the front of it as far as I can tell. Although this may still occur, I don't know though, but as far as I can tell I haven't been kicked out, so that's good. Do not solve the puzzle until you get to the very front and you feel confident enough to uh, solve it. So once you make it to the front, just stand here. And then uh, just wait until uh, you're feeling confident, solve the puzzle, and then instantly get in the Volt Bike. If done correctly, the power plant should be solved and the Volt Bike will be entered. Now go through the tunnel and then instantly take a right. It will take a couple tries, but if you have a good sharp turn, you should actually get extra money. Now once I cross that part, I now have 6,400. The next jump is the ramp, which will take a couple tries, but if you get the proper trick shot, you should be able to easily make it through. Then wait for a couple of seconds after you hit 6,000, and you should get 6,000 from the power plant if you've done it correctly. Now, this is so easy if you have a non-laggy device that has like 60 FPS, 120 FPS. Any of those will work really well. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm also going to show you guys an honorable mention that some of you probably are curious. And uh, there's actually a couple honorable mentions that I'd like to explain. So let me go ahead and just get started. So the first honorable mention is probably a simple glitch, but it can work at the same time. Now this is a helpful tip for those who do not want to like get busted easily. Um, it is properly recommended that you do not get inside the bank when a police officer is nearby. This is because when you enter the bank when a police officer is in the bank and ready to bust, it you will get busted for that. So stay outside until you feel confident enough that the police officer is not inside, or you feel strong enough to defeat the police officer. And uh, another thing, when you go through this door of the uh, bank, park your vehicle to the spot where you're probably going to exit, and it depends on the bank vault. So if it's presidential vault, it's probably encouraged you do park it by the door. It depends on the bank vault as well. So yeah, now another honorable mention I like to explain is actually a simple one for most uh, people, but this one is, is of course for the gas station. Now, a bug occurred where you can rob outside the gas station. This bug occurred for a very long time ever since the introduction of the gas station. Now, normally you would just go inside to rob it, but for some reason, 
If you stand by this trash can, you can see a rob button. Now, this is a very common bug because of the, apparently in jailbreak, e-circles can also be seen through the wall. So that is a pretty cool, but also kind of weird at the same time. The last honorable mention I like to talk about is a glitch with the cargo train. Now, this is a very interesting glitch, but this is extremely helpful if you see a police officer and you want your cargo train money. Although this is pretty pointless for most people. So you need to make sure a cargo train arrives for the glitch to work. Because uh, this will work really well in the cargo train. This works in any cargo train robbery. And uh, normally you just like uh, rob this and all of that. However, there's a bug where you can easily rob the cargo train even though you're not outside. Now this is a very interesting bug. And uh, I'm aware of this bug. I just found it a couple days ago. And this is a very simple bug. So let's say you want to get a lot of money. And then uh, once you get enough money, you want to go outside. Normally, you would take this door or you just uh, jump up here if you're experienced. But in this case, you probably don't have to do those. So like if you're a noob, this is just so easy. Like, look at this. Now, a recent update also like allowed collisions with the gold bars. And I do not know why this is the case, but it's all right. It's it's not really that collidable. It just feels kind of blocky and all. And it uses a different collision, so it does feel weird. So, uh, it's, you go over here, and then there you go. That's, uh, that's how you up the cargo train for some reason. Um, instead of just going outside, you just go over there, and there you go. That's how you rob the cargo train. And that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. If we can make it happen, that would really help me a lot. And I will also try it to, well, start a new channel membership for those who are a big fan of my youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you never miss a video and as always my mr vince have a great day and i'm going to see you guys in the next video